Hey, it's Lee from Nintendo Review here, bringing you the news on Saturday, April 6th, 2019. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. Lamulana 2 is launching in Japan on June the 27th as both a digital and physical release. A Western release, however, is still undated. Ubisoft states that Starlink Battlefratless's sales fell below expectations and that's culminated in the end of the physical toys. However, the team says it's hard at work on its biggest update to the game so far and they are pleased to tell all of us that there will be new digital ships, pilots and weapons to collect. And that's on top of all the free missions, challenges and new activities already stated. Grip Combat Racing for Switch will be adding four free new tracks, Team Racing and a Deathmatch mode. As a pre-order bonus for Mega Man 11, players were given the Wily Numbers Instrumental Stage Tracks DLC which allowed you to change the music in the Robot Master stages to piano instrumental tracks. Well now visit the eShop and all players will be able to download that DLC for free. Vufu Studios have announced This Is Pool's Snooker Deluxe Edition for Switch with Stephen Henry. It'll be out soon and feature This Is Pool and This Is Snooker on the same download. Roguelike RPG for the King will release on the eShop on May the 9th and there will be a signature edition releasing a few weeks later on May 24th which will include the game, original soundtrack, a numbered certificate, a player guide, a shield, keyring, an axe enamel pin and a chaos enamel pin. Pre-orders are available right now. Super Meat Boy Forever has been delayed for its launch in April and the developers team meet say they have no final date yet and the next trailer will inform fans when it's ready to go. Enter the Gungeon's physical release will be available on June 25th, will include all the previously released DLC as well as the DLC of Farewell to Arms, it'll include an exclusive shotgun kin playable skin, the original soundtrack, new collectibles including exclusive stickers, an exclusive bullet kin papercraft and a reversible jacket artwork. And lastly today, Nintendo is adding Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey functionality into Nintendo Labo VR kit with the Toy-Con VR goggles. Mario Odyssey will be implementing a bite-sized bonus experience of three mini-missions with players collecting musical notes and coins in the Cap Seaside and Luncheon Kingdoms. And Zelda Breath of the Wild will allow users to view the world in a totally different way. By toggling a setting in the menu, you can turn VR on and off for the entire game of Zelda. Zelda. Nintendo Labo's VR kit launches on April the 12th and both games will be updated for use with VR on April the 25th. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Discord, YouTube, the Nintendo Review Podcast from all good podcast providers including iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud and TuneIn and our website nintendoreview.co.uk.